So I just wrapped up one of the most boring ass games ever. Um, I'm gonna take it back. You, I don't know if you guys get tired of seeing this deck, but this is my go-to. I think uh, the way, I, and I kind of want to rematch against that fool, but also kind of not. Um, I. I, I don't know what's up with those endless combo decks. I mean, I understand they're there and they work and they're great, but like in in an online setting, you know, if if you're doing like a tournament or something, by all means, or even tournament practice online, you know, fine, go for it. But I guess, but it just seems really weird to do it in the just for fun area, where like how it like. Basically, I just yielded every turn while he just, like, moved cards around. And, like, I don't see that as being fun. Um, I think we might have pissed that last dude off because I was like, this is boring. The guy that's doing the combo decks. And this is the state of magic right now. Just me and the guy that combos. And we're both waiting. There's really not that many people playing anymore. Nobody in the getting serious area. I don't necessarily want to do the tournament practice. Nobody in the just for fun, or just starting out. I, this is not just North America. I think it's, like, global, right? There we go. Okay, so it looks like it's not the same guy that we just played. A little bit surprised. So, we got a lot of planes. Neither the way to work it isn't going to be doing a whole hell of a lot, probably. Depending on how we play it. I think we're only running a one of, maybe two of the Elspeth, so it's, you know, good to see that. We just got to be careful. Got to make sure that we can protect it before we start dropping stuff like that. Pardon me. Okay, brave the elements. So depending on what we draw into, we're probably just gonna hang on to the knight of the white orchid. Mardu attacks, it gets plus two. Could drop the knight of white or ah, uh, there we go. So this will keep us busy. It's good that it's early enough in the game to draw into Student of Warfare as well. And we got the first strike, 3-3 three, three first strike, so we're going to be able to block the uh, Borderland Marauder. What is this from? 2015? Death Touch. So flying really can't be underestimated here. Delirium, he's going to do some graveyard stuff. Howling Mine. Interesting. I haven't seen anybody run how I mean, it's a cool card. Like, I haven't seen anybody run Howling Mine just because it takes a turn sometimes, you know, to play it. Where you could be doing threats instead. Okay, so we got the black green. I think we're gonna have to drop Mirren Crusader. Um, what do we do here? I think we dropped the Mirren Crusader. Although the one one isn't that big of a deal. If we drop the Elspeth, then we're getting into 
Okay, and then we go Mirror Crusader. Get a little bit of, uh, like, it might get burned out because he's got a lot of red there. Um. Hmm. Just contemplating that student of warfare might need brave the elements. Yeah, we're 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 good with that. We're good with that. So I don't think I'm gonna see any sweepers. I don't know what's the uh, like anger of the gods. Maybe. She's yeah. No, he's. Really creature heavy, so we're really going to need to save Brave the Elements to push through damage, I think. Um, so he's ramping up to something big. So... What is this? 5-5... Uh, five, five, I really dropping Elspeth. I really want to drop the Elspeth on there. Think we have enough to protect it? Cause I double strike. Nothing has flying right now. Okay. Five five double strike in the air. <laughs> that's that's game. I mean that's yeah. Not not to be underestimated. I mean El Elspeth's good. It would have been inter I mean, I guess we kinda knew what direction the opponent's deck was going in. It's interesting. I mean it's, you know I'm sure he was probably ramping up into some crazy thing. Looks like nothing Eldrazi, so um but yeah. That's, that's kind of a cool thing to see Howling Mine come out. You don't get to see that too often. So, much, much, much better. I mean, not even about the win or the loss, but um, just better to see someone playing with actual cards instead of, like, flipping artifacts endlessly while we just pass the turn. So, thank you all for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.